Hey guys, how are you? I am so excited to bring you this video because this is actually going to be my Pan That Palette 2019 finale and I'm really excited it's so soon because I've actually only been working on these products for about six months and this is the finale. It feels really good to close out this video and I'm sure you guys are wondering what I'm going to be panning next and I'm going to show that in a separate video because I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on these products. I was panning the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette. I was working on two products in my Z palette so it was an eyeshadow and a blush but I actually depotted my blush from this Tarte Hamptons Weekender little mini contour palette and this had a blush bronzer and highlighter and I only was working on the blush and the bronzer for this project the highlight was finished previously I'll show you what it looks like completely when I go through it but anyway let's get into the finale of my products so first I want to get my Z palette out of the way because that's the more like boring part of my pan that palette in my opinion so I'll insert a picture of what that looked like in my previous update So here's what it looks like now. So as you can see, I only have this little eyeshadow in here. This is GNO from ColourPop, and this is from their Yes Please palette. And my goal for this in the last month was just to expand the pan on it, and I don't even think I expanded it that much. I have barely used it, to be honest. I have other eyeshadows I was working on, and ones in palettes that I was just using. And I do really like this color. It's a beautiful matte burnt orange shade, and it's beautiful, but... I just find bringing out this entire Z palette just for this one eyeshadow is pretty unnecessary and can be a little bit tedious. I previously had a blush in here from the Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette, but I actually put it back in here, so I'll talk about that in a second. But I haven't decided what I want to do with this eyeshadow right here. I may declutter in the future because I do have other oranges in my collection, but I am liking it. It's a good shadow, and I'm hoping to pick up some singles from some indie brands soon. I'm just waiting for like certain things to come back in stock. So I'm going to leave this in the palette for now, but this is the only item that was not finished for this finale. And now I'm going to move on to my Hamptons Weekender palette from Tarte. And in my Z palette picture, you could see that there was a little bit of the blush left. And I put it back in the palette. So this is what the empty Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette looks like. So the blush was right here. And this was in Summer House, so the highlighter was right here, and then the bronzer. I previously finished the bronzer months ago. I think it was very early on in this Pan That Palette Challenge. I just finished the blush, I think, like, last week or so. And this was a matte pink color, and it wasn't super pink. It was more of a neutral color, but it was a little bit too dark for me sometimes. So I did Franken blush it a lot, like, make a Franken blush, and then I've also mixed it with lighter blushes in my collection as well. It was a really pretty shade. I actually really enjoyed this palette. The highlight was more of a like light champagne color the bronzer was just your standard pale skin bronzer and I did really like this palette it was like $19 so I feel like it was a really good deal and I'm happy to have another palette out of my collection and finally I have my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette and this is the most exciting one in my opinion so I'll insert a picture of what this looked like in my previous update And this is what it looks like now. It is empty, baby. I'm so excited. I actually loved this palette so much. If you haven't seen this palette completely full, it was a half neutral, half colorful eyeshadow palette. It was all shimmers and metallics except for one matte, and that was the shade Myth. It had a highlighter in the center as well. I didn't love the highlighter that much. It was pretty, but it just wasn't my favorite highlighter. But I am really happy to be done with this palette. The only eyeshadow that I had left was in the shade Dream, which was in this spot right here. And this was a shimmery teal color. So they had foils in here and shimmers. So this is just one of the shimmer colors. It was a really pretty color. I enjoyed the palette a lot. My favorite shade in the palette was Marvel, which was a very foiled metallic green the shade. shade. Myth was just very tightly packed in here. I wish the highlighter was either a different eyeshadow or maybe just a different color. It was like a gold pink shift, but it had like a bit of a blue note to it. So sometimes it looked a little bit ashy on my cheeks. And then the shade Wings, which was right here. That was a metallic copper shade, but towards the end of the shadow, it kind of flaked off my eyes and it got really gross. So I actually had a pretty good pan on it, but I crushed it out because I just couldn't deal with that shadow anymore. So that was the only one that I didn't technically finish all the way, but I did hit some major pan on it. So this palette was limited edition, so you can't purchase it anymore. You might be able to find it on Hot Look or Amazon. But this was, I think, two years old this year, so it might be a little bit older when you do find it. But I thought it was a beautiful palette. I wish Tarte would come out with something like this. 
the colors were beautiful and I felt like the colors were pretty wearable for the ones that they did have. They had a purple, a green, two blues, and I think that was it for their actual colorful shades. But they were beautiful and I felt like I could wear them to work without feeling like I was wearing too much color. I thought this was a really good palette. Definitely could have been changes to it to make it a little bit more user friendly, like more mattes to it, but I thought it was beautiful. So like I mentioned, I will be bringing in another palette into my Panette palette 2019. I'm just going to create a separate video for it and I'm really excited to show you guys that. I really enjoy doing Panette palette. It helps me get ready in the morning, honestly. I feel like knowing what palette I'm going to be using really cuts down on my getting ready time. I to plan my looks the night before and sometimes I do change it but I like to pan throughout the week and then sometimes play with other palettes on the weekend that's just how I do it and I've also done a video on my project pan tips I can do an updated pan that palette tips if you want or how to pan a palette in six months or how I panned my Tarte palette in six months because it was actually six months that I panned it which is pretty crazy so I think that's all I have to say about this Panette palette finale. It was a little bit all over the place, so I apologize for that. But like I said, I will be having my Panette palette 2019 intro coming soon. Probably in a week or two, I haven't really decided. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know a lot of you guys do love my Panette palette videos, and you guys are always inspiring me to pan. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my beauty channel, which is this one. I also recently created a second channel, so if you guys would check that out, that would be awesome. It is called CNK Equestrian and is for more horse-related content. I hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you guys again for watching for like the third time that I mentioned it. And I will see you guys on my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.